Why, hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings, and I'm going to try to give you an ultimate guide on what crafting pairs best with what class. Okay, so I've got to break this question down a little bit. I am your host and guide, Zolan Arnshell, as always, and if, you, I do, if I do earn it, don't forget to like and subscribe, and i got tons of guidance on the playlist, so make sure you check out this playlist on the channel if you need guides on Lotro. All right, my friends, so here's, here's, it's a good question. I've had a couple people ask me, what is, like, the best profession to play with what character? All right, well, question is, First thing is you need to look at each profession. So if you break down crafting, which I have a bunch of guides on crafting already, you might want to go watch. I have a bunch of them. But each crafting profession is broken down into three different things. Some of them overlap. For example, some will have prospecting. Some multiple cr ones have prospecting within their three. Usually they have two. Ma they have a main one and like an off one. So for example, I'm a metalsmith. So if I bring up the crafting button down there on the bottom, right there, boop, gonna click that. Bring up the armor. Basically, I have prospecting, which means I am, I can gather materials on the field or anywhere I am in the world, right? Which is good, and I have a little thing that lets me track this little track mines. Again, everyone's going to have that, so remember you have that. Okay, guys, If you're, and it'll pop up there on your radar when you walk by it in the world. The little, the little symbol, if you see one. Um, you have tailoring and metalsmithing. The reason I picked... A armorer as a guardian is because it pairs well with me because for one I love to gather prospecting materials but <laughs> for two metalsmiths make heavy armor okay we can make heavy armor guardians wear heavy armor so if you're someone that makes heavy armor and you want to make your own gear and stuff like that prospecting is good on that now there is some things you have to remember you guys when it comes to crafting a lot of the times there is certain times and levels where you're not going to be able to craft your own stuff because they didn't really put stuff out at that expansion for crafting as much where they were encouraging people to do a raid or an instance to barter for the gear the special gear for example moria Moria, the level 60, there's really nothing to craft for that level that's really super great because they wanted you to go into the instances and barter for the gear, right? Which you can see on my Lotro Tail. We find that out while we're playing my Lotro Tail, right? Because it's been so long since I've gone back and leveled up a character, right? And this character's been near the max the whole time. Um, but keep that in mind. That's really important. So now we're talking about, well, what about all the crafting professions, right? Well, we need to go to a crafting guy, right? So we need to find, we have a supplier here, and you need to find the master, the guy that's in charge of all the crafting professions. Okay, so I'm going to bring you guys over to Southern Bree. I would highly recommend coming to Southern Bree to choose your crafting profession, all right? So I'm going to show you the location of where this person is, where you're going to choose your crafting profession. Um, you can also choose it in a couple. He's in a couple of different areas. I'll show you his name right now. Um, so once you choose your crafting profession, you need to think about a few things too. What are you going to be wanting to make? So I'll, I'll explain all of them, what they all do real quick for you in this ultimate guide. And then I will explain what I think pairs with what class well, but really it's going to come down to you and what you want as well. It's a very, it's a very complex question. So I'm going to try to break it down as best I can right now for you guys in as short a time as I can. So you're going to look for the, um, Master of Apprentices. It's going to be this symbol over his head. He'll be in other places as well, but this Bree Town Crafting Hall is a good spot to find him. Again, it's located right here, okay, in Bree, right there. Okay, this little thing right here. Supplier, he's going to be looking. All right, um, yes. Not here, right? Yeah, right here. <laughs> just making sure um so when you click on him you've got your different ones they're going to tell you now you could click on this and respec warning if you already have your your levels in this which again i have a whole guide video on how to level up your crafting and stuff um if you already have that make sure you realize that if you click one of these a new one it will replace that and erase all your work on that character so remember you can have multiple characters doing multiple things so again my guardian is my armor smith he does that he's also my tailor i do most of my tailoring on him now if you're someone that wants to make full use of your tailoring gear to make medium armor or light armor tailoring is for medium light armor usually it also does cloaks it also does other things armor metalsmiths can also make other kinds of things like the rune keeper um things and a couple different areas and they can make shields again each class i can do a breakdown video for you guys of that if you want to know every single one but that would that would make this video turn into a long time so we're just going to talk about helping you decide what class with what profession okay so the chance of okay um explorers are very nice for a character that travels around a lot i'm an explorer on my uh i believe it is my burglar 
or my hunter i use explorer on um i like that because they have tailoring which is light and medium armor which is what they wear they also are a forester a forester can gather sticks and different wood materials which helps the um woodworker usually and weaponsmith it depends on what you need again i have a whole video on crafting if you hover an item it'll tell you what you need this this item just needs ingots uh, this item needs ingots and some scrap of metal again you can go through it light armor usually it's hides it's usually tanned hides tanned hides are usually tanned by a um forester okay so that's the thing so taylor medium armor light armor that's what they usually make forester they usually so you can collect the branches and it can tan hides right and do that and do that work that kind of like middle ground work uh prospector that is so you can refine prospectors refine metals as well as collect it on the field it gives you the option to collect on the field Me a weaponsmith usually makes um different weaponries like swords and spears and all that kind of stuff you know they're weaponsmith they, they work on weapons right uh prospector again so again the armsman is a prospector and a woodworker woodworkers are very good at making the wooden um wooden bows different kind of weapons crossbows regular bows all that kind of stuff okay so there are a lot that's usually what they focus on more there's other things they can do too there's this is very simplistic for you guys to help you decide what one you do with what class again you can click it learn it look at what's inside it but again you're only going to see apprentice when you first start a profession on each of the tabs you're not going to see this huge amount of information that i've got here for you so that's how i'm trying to help you uh jewelers a jeweler is basically someone that can make jewelry so your character, again, main gear that every character uses is different, some kind of armor, whether it be light, medium, or heavy. They can use a weapon. Usually it's an axe or a spear or some kind of melee weapon, or they dual wield, maybe double daggers, double, you know, some kind of dual wield. A bow, if you're a rune keeper, you're going to use a rune stone. If you're a minstrel, you're going to be using an instrument, which can be made by woodworkers as well, I believe. Um, there's belt items. Again, later there's a legendary system for items. You cannot craft uh yeah they know they've redone the legendary system you get it all through rivendell i don't think you do a lot of crafting there are some things you can craft but it's not usually legendary weapons but um jewelry is always a big one still usually they still will have you jewelry will still be a good thing to get in an instance um i do recommend to the standing stones locher team that i would like it if they made updated the crafting system is very complex and very good and helps a lot in lotro but they could use some more updates with it where it like it's even more uh, important like even more so and it's already pretty darn important with a lot of things but not everything so um jewelers are very good at doing jewelry for things they're very they're, they make a, they're good at that and a lot of different things it's kind of just like the name says right so again i mean a jeweler could really be anybody but like i mean you could use it on one of your lighter classes you know like maybe the room keeper or the lore master or something like that again that's really up to you how you want to pair it that's why this question of what pairs with what class it really comes down to what you're doing with that class so again the armsman works really well with like a champion or a hunter because you can make your own weapon or your own bow right for a lot of levels when you need that until legendary weapons at least until level you know um or mid 15 52 53 is when you use your legendary um the prospector uh cook cook is very good cook is always good all around because you can cook things and they give you buffs that are temporary so you can like eat something right and most games have this where you eat something it gives you a vitality buff or a health buff you know which is vitality or might or something so cooking is very helpful but again that is in this vocation right but i would highly recommend the human if you're going to be cooking because it's cook farmer farmers are basically you farm plants which a lot of those are used to cook including fishing by the way the hobby fishing can be used to cook things as well uh tailoring they have tailoring too which is interesting weird to pair tailoring with farming and cooking but that's how they did it um so again this is someone maybe that you just um you know if you're a hunter and you want to be a cook it could be good because you could track animals right again you're also a tailor you could track for the hides but really i like to use it on my my elf as a, a, a hunter as a forest as an explorer because he's a forester and a tailor right so he can collect things collect the hides and then he can tan them with forester and then create stuff with tailor so it's a little easier than transferring it through characters right back and forth so that's up to you with the human but i'm sure there's a class you could think of that you'd want that on uh maybe the bjorning that could be a good one um and then the woodsman right woodsman is a woodworker forester and farmer really you're just you're good at you're good at for woods a woodworker you can make your own bows this could also be good on anyone with bows um 
with uh really hunters are really good with all this because hunters are just good at finding things and traveling but um that could be good on um I mean, you could a lore master too. Like, I'm pretty sure um, their staffs are made with woodworker, so that could be a good lore master one. Um, there's a lot of different ones. Again, this is really hard to be exact on what class exactly. It's kind of hard to match with every single one. Now, when you go to the last one, historian, this is the only one that has scholar. Scholars are able to collect um, the scholar pickup items on the map. Okay, it's kind of like the prospecting or the forester. Um, they're able to pick stuff up uh, on the actual map. And they're able to make scrolls that buff. Those are always good. And different things with uh, lots of different upgrade things. They also can make weapons. And they're a farmer. So again, I highly, highly recommend that your lore master is a, uh, a vocation, is a historian. It's funny. It used to be even better because lore masters used to need a certain pipeweed to res people. I don't think that's the case anymore. I'm pretty sure that's been updated. I haven't resonating with my lore master in a while even i just played him a few days ago but um i'm pretty sure you don't need that anymore used to be it was very handy because you could farm your pipe weed that you needed to re actually revive someone that was been knocked out right so but scholar is always good because you can craft different scholarly uh spell books that you use and they're one-time use consuming and that kind of stuff but again to answer this question of what is the best vocation with your cl what class it really comes down to what are you doing with the class. So if the class, if you want to make it for yourself, so here's here's what I would really break it down for you guys. What is the best things to sell later in the game? Prospector, Forester, whichever ones those are in, those are always good. Because collecting hides and tanning them, or collecting wood, or especially ores, prospecting, are sell very good in the auction hall, no matter what level. So that's always a good thing to think about. Cooking? Always a good one because you can always cook stuff and sell in the auction hall, give it to people for bonuses, right? Farming is good with cooking because you can make your own stuff to cook with, right? Scholars always are going to be good, because the scholar buff at the bottom, because you can always make those scrolls those buff things that people want and want to use, right? So that is very, very handy, okay? I believe scholars can also make a hope token, which can be helpful in certain situations a lot. Um, so, but now weaponsmith, if you're a, if you're maybe a champion, right? And you use a lot of, um, uh, remember there's a difference between weaponsmith and an, um, armorer, or excuse me, weaponsmith and a, um, uh, metalsmith, right? Weaponsmith makes metal weapons. Woodworker makes wood things like bows or staffs and armorer makes armor. Metalsmith is armor. Okay, so if it's a metalsmith, it's armor making. And again, the armor is the only one that actually is an arm and armor has the metal smith in it. As you can see, again, these three here are the lower white ones on all of these. And the top one is the top one. Okay, so again, what does it come down to? Here's the big ones I recommend. If you're a lore master, probably want to be a historian. If you're a hunter or someone that explores a lot, you probably want to have maybe explorer where you can prospect forest and then maybe tan things right as a forester. And again, it's good if you're a light or medium armor if you have the tailor, right, with that. If you are a if you are want to be a jeweler with any of them, maybe a rune keeper would pair well with that, or a lore master, or anyone that you just want to do jewelering or prospecting with or cooking, it's kind of good all around because you can make jewelry to sell, you can make it for yourself, you can collect prospecting tools, cooking. That's just a good one all around for, for really any class that you want to use it for. Human, cook, farmer, tailor. Again, probably someone with more medium armor with that one. If you're not going to, uh, unless you want to be cooking more with that. So again, but I would almost say the jeweler prospector if you're not, if you'd rather just have the prospecting with it too. But again, Yulman is best for if you want to be an actual focus on cook because you're also a farmer. So you don't have to be trading stuff all the time. So Taylor's kind of just icing on the cake with that one. So it really depends on what you want to do with which class. And the woodworker would probably be good to do someone that needs wood items like the hunter or the lore master or, um, you know, but again, it's not terrible. Forester, farmer, you could really do it on any class. Champion, guardian, right? I any of them, I even a warden. Again, it really comes down to what do you want to do on that class? And think about multiple characters. If you're going to someone that really gets down with crafting and you want to do a lot of different crafting, think about who would be easiest to have it on. Really, it comes down to what your mix wants to be. So, for example, I'm using an armorer. My burglar is a, um, I believe he is a human. No, wait, uh, what did I make him? 
He might be a human or he's an explorer. I think my um, my my lore master is a historian. My hunter is an explorer. Again, my champion. I don't know if I have other correcting possessions besides those three characters that I use most that are mostly maxed out with certain things. Uh, the tinker, again, that really comes down to what, what... That's why the question is kind of hard, guys. All right, it's a hard question. I can't give you an exact answer. I'm sorry, I just can't give you, like, exact ones. Besides the one that, like, historian is very, very good on a lore master right but again you can use it on anyone and the explorer is very good on like the like a hunter because they can track animals right and they can farm and they can do tailoring and they can collect both since they're a forester and a prospector they can collect stuff all over the map and hunt so that's why i like to make my explorer my hunter it just helps right because they're fast they can track things that kind of thing but again a human um and armor smith is good for wardens right all right my friends well i think that i pretty much covered that extensively on my thoughts on that and basically what you need to think about in this ultimate guide of those pairings again i know you're probably like well what's like that is that that is the question it's not quite as straightforward as you think what you need to think about is what are the three little ones under here the names taylor forest or prosper that i need i already explained them all to you right taylor Medium armor, light armor, does other things as well. Forester Prospector picks up things. Foresters can tan hides. They also pick up stuff on the field. Prospectors pick up ores on the field. They're, they're sticks and trees, basically a forester. Um, weaponsmith does different kind of metal weapons. Prospector, same thing we were talking about. Woodworker, some of the wood things. Staffs, bows, crossbows, that kind of thing. Jeweler is jewelry. Cook, cooks food. Farmer, farms plants, which are usually good for cooked food or other things. Um, Woodworker, uh, we talked about all those. Scholar, pick stuff up on the map and also can make the scholarly items. And then, of course, we have the metalsmith over here, right? Which we didn't talk about, which is making heavy armor usually or other kinds of shields and things like that. So, again, why I like it on the Guardian because uh, that's stuff I use. Anyway, my friends, I hope that helps you out with this ultimate guide on uh, what's best to pair with that and again i know it's not as straightforward as a question as it might have sounded because i've had lots of people ask me hopefully that helped you guys out please ask questions in the comments if i missed something or something that you feel like you didn't understand i'd love to answer it for you thank you to my patreons subscribe buttons there um but again i really i look at those comments still you guys so i'll, I'll do my best to always look at them until i just can't keep up with them <laughs> because <laughs> it's getting a lot but I, I do love to answer questions next video is up there for guides i got tons of guides on the playlist and all stuff to with, do with crafting so go check those out if you need more crafting stuff i'm planning on making more in the future and over there is my literature telling me content have a great day in middle earth my friends and i'll see you in the next episode of voice of the rings